Freak Nation, what's up? This is Andrew. I'm gonna make another video here. Um, so recently I, um, I purchased the Evil Dead Steelbook and it came in the mail yesterday. And I still haven't opened it. Figured I can open it uh, on camera with you guys and uh, talk about it. So one thing that immediately jumps out is right here. You can see the indent of the, uh, the strip that, um, the security strip, and that often is just pulled off. It's usually inside, and um, it doesn't typically cause an issue, but I noticed with this official steelbook, as you can see here, right there, official steelbook, um, I don't know if they've placed it there for a reason or what, but I feel as though that's causing an indentation on the actual steelbook, compromising it. That being said, I also feel like there might be a slight bump in the steelbook right here as well. Um, so I'm not sure how much I love this. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the special features as well. So you can see here it says special feature, not special features, as in this is not pluralized, as in, is there only one special feature on a Blu-ray special edition steelbook? Come on, dudes, what's up with that? These are supposed to be supreme. These are supposed to be amazing. The steelbook is supposed to be the best of the best. This is what you have to offer me in the steelbook Blu-ray? Come on. So here I am, I'm actually gonna open it now. Pulling the plastic off of it. Steelbook feels pretty good. Oh, it feels too light. I remember Steelbooks used to actually have some weight to them. And as you can see here, that's still, uh... oh, all right, there we go. That just pulls right off there. And they have that cover art there. And that explains why the magnetic strip felt like it was there. And that explains the bump there. So I'm gonna open it up now. No inserts whatsoever. See the Evil Dead, one disc, it's an Anchor Bay release. Um, so nothing here. Case art looks cool. The back of it looks all right. So what I have here is the Evil Dead Steelbook. I paid $10 for it. Um, the case itself, I feel like it's too lightweight. Uh, still books used to mean something and I have been pretty adamantly against them uh, recently, but I'm still buying them for some reason when I get them cheap enough. Um, the art on this is cool and there are no dings or bumps on it like I thought there was. That was just the packaging. Uh, there's no uh, special insert with it. It's just one disc and uh, we're gonna have to pop it in to see uh, what the menus look like and um, what special features, if any, exist. So far, I'm not impressed with this. The three disc DVD that I have is vastly superior. So here's the menu. And as you can tell, it has an animated background that kind of goes through the movie a little bit. Uh, the menu is a little interactive, but not much. You have play movie, setup, scene selections. And that's literally it. So you go into setup, and there's your audio and your subtitles. You click on audio and then you can scroll through and there's where you find your commentary, your one single commentary, your one special feature. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna close out of that. And then we're going to check out Play Movie. Now, uh, unadvertised on the case, but you can see you have Play Original 1331 or Play Enhanced 1851. Now in layman's terms, that's full screen, that's widescreen. And that is all that comes with this film, this Blu-ray, and this steelbook. To me, nothing about this says collectible, and it's a prime example of why steelbooks are overrated. This doesn't even come close to touching the three disc DVD edition that I did a video on prior. To say that I'm disappointed by this would be an understatement, okay? 
Uh, like I said, there's nothing collectible about it other than the case itself, and I'm not in love with steelbooks. Um, there's no special features beyond the commentary, and um, honestly, I feel like uh, Anchor Bay really dropped the ball. Uh, back in the DVD days, Anchor Bay actually took their time and did a lot of, of good. Um, uh, clearly, in the Blu-ray era, uh, they, like so many others that aren't Scream or Shout Factory, have kind of just been going through the motions. Uh, this is a prime example of uh, why DVD special editions are that much better than Blu-ray special editions. Clarity aside, uh, more time and effort is always put into those versus the new ones. And uh, this is pretty disappointing, guys. I will say I'm okay that I have it. I'm glad that I have it, but I do not care. And I probably will never use, watch this. If I'm being honest, I, if I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna watch the uh, awesome DVD edition that I have.